Sorry, it's Rick here at UTV Source. We're out here in Coos Bay, Oregon, and uh, we are done building our 2022 Polaris Pro, our ultimate. We've been building it in the stories. We've been showcasing you the parts. Everything's on the website, so check it out. But for right now, we're going to give you guys a walk around, and uh, we're going to show you what we've done and why we went that route. So let's get into it. One of the very first upgrades we, we did to our Pro R was the SF Raceworks race cage. So basically this cage is all two inch, chrome ollie, it's TIG welded. It comes with a ton of options on the website. We went with the lower valance. We do have a removable windshield for it. It has the removable window nets, which is a safety item. When you're competing or racing or if you're really getting down with your friends, it's important to keep your hands in the machine at all time. Dope, we went with a stout cage and we powder coated it UTV Source Blue, which is actually a color now. And it's, it's pretty amazing. It has the rear Casey Highlights dust wing in it. So we have chase lights in the rear. So that consists of a Casey Highlights chase bar, which is running lights, brake lights, amber lights, and a backup light. So all in all, the SF Raceworks cage looks amazing. Uh, the fabrication is top notch you can get it TIG welded or MIG welded and it'll ship right to your house. And it's probably one of those upgrades, if you're in a Pro R and you're going hard, something you should seriously consider. This is from SF Raceworks. This is their door skin. It is not a complete door. We stuck with the factory frame and it simply bolts on and over. It's really nice. The reason I like it is one, the body line flows now. It's not low. It's high, it's clean, it's sleek, easy, easy install, but you get to use door bags. The door bags are super important. We have a knee knocker right here, which is super convenient when you're going hard, your knees resting up on this, not metal, and you get to put all your stuff, all your goodies in your bags. And it looks amazing. So, pretty stoked on these doors. It's a good upgrade. We installed a set of PRP XCR suspension seats. Now, a suspension seat is exactly what the name implies. It's paracord suspension, and it allows us to take those big impacts, those big hits, the whoops, the bumps, the jumps, without sacrificing or hurting our bodies. The seat gives, it's very comfortable, it's not heavy, it sits about the same height as the factory seats. The big difference is we have a steel base seat mounted with nuts and bolts to a steel sliding system. The factory seat is plastic with nut certs. You're relying on plastic and a nut cert. I don't really trust that. I love the seats. There's a lot of options that you guys can choose from. This is just one of the many, many models that we offer. And we paired it with the PRP seats 5.2 cam lock. You're out that fast. No more fumbling, no more fidgeting. If you have arthritis, if you're a little bit older, if you're a little bit younger, anyone can release this harness like that. This is the Rugged Race Radio's M1 and it's paired with the 696 Bluetooth audio system. Now what this allows us to do is communicate to other UTVs, other riders, our friends, the group that we're riding within. We can call turns, we can call hazards, and having communications is, is awesome. The programs are pre-programmed. You select what channel you want to be on, and that's it. It also allows you to talk to your passengers, up to four people. It's pretty awesome. And one of the features that I really like about it is I can get phone calls and answer it through my headsets or my helmet. It's pretty unique, it's neat. It makes things easy, and we never have to touch our phones. It streams live music as well. It's all pushed through the Rock and Fosgate system that's in our ultimate model. And what's really cool, when you have this complete package from Rugged Race Radios, you're also using your Polaris Ride Command. So you're completely linked up with your group. If you're in another Polaris, you can see them, you can talk to them, you can listen to your music, you can have a great time, and you're never gonna skip a beat. It's pretty awesome. It's a Rugged Race Radios Mac Air Pumper System. Now, we run pumpers 
for a few reasons. One, this filters out all the dirt, all the dust that we don't want to be breathing, right, on rides. We pair it with a mid-air helmet. It's filtering the dirt and debris and dust out. It's pushing in the ambient air temperature, so it's not air conditioned. It is what it is, but we're getting fresh, clean air pumped into our helmet. And on hot days, it's amazing. <laughs> it keeps you comfortable, and it's it's kind of a safety thing. You know, we go on a lot of rides in a lot of groups, and when you get a few cars out there on some trails, it gets dusty. We're not breathing the dust. It's a great feature. It's adjustable. I can tune it up and tune it down. It's available for two and four passengers. This is a new product. This is the brand new Element fire extinguisher. This is it. This is your new fire extinguisher. It's not bulky. It's lightweight. It doesn't make any noise. It doesn't bang and plank. And uh, it's pretty simple to use. You pull the top, you point, you shoot. This one has a 50 second active run time, which is pretty neat. It's actually a little bit longer than your standard and traditional fire extinguisher. Now, what I really like about this is one, it is slim in design, it's lightweight, it's universal. We went with a soft bag install on it, it rolls around the tube and Velcro shut. But you can also throw it in your door bags. You can stash them basically anywhere and uh, it's pretty neat, they're super affordable. And the reason why I really, really like it is it's inside my cab. If I can't get out and I can't get to the back, I have something I can grab right off the bat and get to work. And uh, it's really, really trick. I hope I never get to use it, but I'm glad that we have one. So we kind of tweaked the look of our Pro R. It has a wedge shape. It carries the same body lines as the Pro XP, which is a 64 inch model. And if you guys recall, we built one and converted it to 72. We put a wide body kit on it. We did the same thing to our Pro R. This is the DRT fender kit, front and rear. It's an easy way to add great looks to your Pro R, your Turbo R, your Pro XP. It, it looks amazing, you know, the Pro R is 74 inches wide. The wedge shape just kind of hangs your A arms out there and your tires are out there. There's really no protection from stuff flying into the cab. And this offers a little bit of protection. It doesn't offer a lot. It offers a lot of good looks. We paired it with the DRT fender washer kit. Now that replaces the factory bolts. You can use the factory bolts or you can upgrade to some really nice hardware. There's an easy solution to protect your factory radiator. Install a DRT grill. We offer a wide variety of grills. This isn't the only one, but this is the one that I wanted on our Pro R. It matched simple install and it serves a purpose. It's deflecting debris away from entering the radiator and it lets enough air in to still cool your machine. It looks great. It's a win-win. It's a cheap alternative to saving your very expensive OEM radio. So, pretty simple. We're out here beating in the dunes and the desert, hitting bumps, doing jumps. So we went with a slim, sleek, designed bumper from SF Raceworks. It's a shreddy collab bumper. Blake's one of my buddies. It allows us to mount a few lights. We went with the KC Highlights Flex Air 1. We changed the ring from gold to blue. It's a customizable light. This is the only light that we have on our Pro R, and it's actually enough. It's got a good beam pattern, lifetime warranty. It looks good, sleek, slim, kind of sexy. It's right to the point, it's just enough light. Moving to the back of our Pro R, we have a DRT Adventure Rack. So this supports our 33 inch tires that we run on our Pro R when we're not on paddles, but it also can support up to a 35 inch tire when you select the bolt-on 35 inch tire bracket. Stands it up a little taller, gives you a little more room to open. It does come with a Y strap from DRT. It functions as it should. You hit the levers, it pops up on gas struts. It's pretty awesome. It gives you access to the DRT rear trunk. Again, it's on gas struts. It operates very easy. It allows you to have access to everything you don't want seen. We have an ice chest back there. We've got some belts back there. We've got some GoPros. 
Here's the DRT strap that you get with the adventure rack. We have a tire kit and a speed strap back here. So we actually cram a lot of stuff in here and uh, works pretty good. And it's easy. It looks good too. Following the body lines on our Pro R and the lines of the DRT adventure rack and trunk, we went with the DRT rear bumper. Now this is a three piece bumper. That's how it's gonna ship to you. You bolt it together and it follows all the body lines on our Pro R. It's really, really nice. It comes with aluminum mesh inserts that you can unbolt and powder coat or custom color to your liking. And it looks really good. It also gives us this really nice clean opening and it sets the focus on that Evo exhaust system. The tone that comes out of this exhaust system is rad. It's really hard to get that right on a four banger engine. They're loud. The factory exhaust is loud. Now, I don't have a decibel comparison between exhaust, factory stock, aftermarket. It sounds amazing. We added a little bit of horsepower. It is tuned with the Evo tune and we paired it with the Evo header. Now, a lot of, a lot of R&D went into that header it's got a twist in it, it's TIG welded, it's stainless, it looks amazing. We went ahead and Cerakoted ours at Candelo Customs. You know, we've had this machine out in some mud, in some water, and uh, it started to etch. So we've talked about this, when you guys are installing your exhaust systems, wipe them down before you fire it off. Speaking of firing it off, we should hear the sound. This is the HCR stock replacement upper and lower A arm, right? It's going to give us more clearance down low. It's TIG welded, it's chrome all, it's made in the USA, it's actually made in Utah. It looks amazing. It's got all the overlay plates and all the critical points that fail on the factory suspension. So when we installed the HCR kit, we went ahead and installed the brand new LMUTV ball joints. These are the upper ball joints. It's the same as a Turbo S, okay? It fits in, it's rebuildable, it's serviceable, and you can take the slop out of it. So when your ball joint gets loose in a typical ball joint, they just fail. We can actually screw down on this and tighten it back up. When we get home, we can rebuild it or we can service it. Down low, this is a big boy ball joint. The surface area and the engagement, this ball joint versus the factory ball joint, there's really no comparison. This is a must. When you break a ball joint, you're gonna break your suspension, you're gonna break your shocks. Things break and it gets very, very expensive. So keep an eye on your factory ball joints. If you wanna upgrade them, you've got a huge selection of ball joints on the website. These are GSP axles. You're probably running their axles already. You just don't know it. We've had no problems with them as of yet, and we're still testing them. We've had no issues. It's a thicker bar stock. The boot is insane. And uh, all in all, pretty good upgrade. One of the upgrades we did early on on our Pro R was adding the shock therapy, lower shock clevis. Now the clevis on the factory machine is great. Polaris nailed it when they put the shock to the lower arm. It really changed the game in the UTV industry. But they used a cast part. And there's nothing wrong with it, but when you're going hard and you're jumping and you're very, very aggressive, you may want to consider billet over cast. It's stronger, it's precise, it's clean, and it works well. I haven't seen any of these fail, but I have seen the factory ones fail. It's kind of a weak link on the Pro Arm. We turned to Shock Therapy for the dual rate spring kit. It's available for all makes and models, not just the Pro Arm. It's literally available for every make and model. It's a great upgrade and it's tried and true. It's one of those things that if you're aggressive, you like to jump, hit big bumps, this is something you're gonna wanna get. This is the Shock Therapy Limit Strap Kit. It's really easy to install if you already have your shocks off and you're changing your spring rates like we did. It's something that limits the travel at full droop. You get a lot of axle punch. You can pull an axle out at full droop and this mitigates that. It also takes away the abuse of the shock 
drooping out and pulling itself apart. It just limits the droop. So a sway bar and a sway bar in link work against each other. So if the left side's drooping out and the right side's pulling up, it's actually stabilizing everything. It's mitigating or eliminating the body roll. So there's a lot of load pushing through that quarter inch or three eighths thick little sway bar end link. This is the shock therapy sway bar end link. It is adjustable. There is no need to adjust these. You wanna keep them to the factory lengths, but it has a very nice FK rod end. It's billet machined. It has a jam nut. It looks amazing. It's like three times the thickness. So the load being pushed through that part, you're not going to break it. We went with the Shock Therapy tie rod. Now this is billet machined again, made in the USA. It's a one piece machined tie rod. The factory one is two pieces. That is one of those parts like I don't want to have a failure on ever, especially at speed, so. All right, I already showed you the front of our Pro R and all the upgrades and why we went about doing it that way. Well, we did the same thing in the back. That's the HCR stock replacement trailing arm. It's strong. It's extremely strong. It's overlay plated in all the pickup points that see load, like your sway bar end link. This is the shock therapy sway bar end link. Now, something you may not pick up on right now is this right here. It looks like a factory part, but it's not. This is the shock therapy tow rod link bar. Now what I like about this upgrade is we're eliminating the cam bolt system. That's something you see on like a street car or a truck. It gets knocked out of alignment extremely easy. This system, we eliminate that. It's a through bolt to a clevis and a rod end with jam nuts. You adjust the bar, you lock it in, you're done. One of the last upgrades we made to the rear of our Pro-R is LMU TV high clearance radius rods and an LMU TV pull plate. Now, the upper radius rod is adjustable. You loosen the jam nuts, you spin it, and you adjust your tire out or in, depending on how you want it to react in the terrain you're riding in. The lower is high clearance, it's fixed. It's FK rod ends. They look like jewelry back here. They come in different coatings. This is raw 6065, which is extremely strong. Now you can take these and color them any color you want to match your machine. We decided to keep it raw. It looks dope, kind of matches everything we got going on back here. Kind of love it. For wheels, we went with Metal Effects Delta Beadlocks. Now this is a 10 inch wide, true beadlock design. A beadlock is pretty simple. It's holding our wheel on. We run low air pressures on our Sandcraft Destroyers. Now this is the 12 scoop. This is comp cut, it's light, it's extremely badass. This is the tire I wanna run on my Pro R. Now, in the dirt, we also went with Metal Effects Hitman wheels. Our Pro R is 74 inches wide. We do not want it to be any wider, so we have a very stock offset on that. We paired them with the GBC Parallax. We did upgrade from a 32 to a 33, and the performance is perfect. To finish off our Pro R build, we went with a set of Bluetooth 5150 187 widths. Now, I'm running blue, but you can run red, green, pink, purple. You can strobe them, you can dim them, you can dance them to your audio. They're pretty legit. They come in pairs. They're just easy. They look good, kids love them. And uh, we paired them with our UTV source whip flags. Now we have these on the website. They're ready for you guys to pick up. They come in an assortment of colors and sizes. So uh, yeah, if you have them here. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, continue to follow us on Instagram, at UTV source. And remember, life's a ride, make it your own.